Hello guys, welcome to this class. In this video, we will learn how to sort an array in the ascending order and in the descending order. So here I have a HTML file linking a script JS. Okay, in this file we will do the code. So let's go to scripts file. Here we need to create a new array. Okay. So let's create with const and I will put some numbers without an order. Okay, so here uh, let's put some random numbers. And now we want to sort them ascending. Okay, and how can we do this? First, we will create another variable to put the sorted array in this new variable. So I will call it array ascending, okay? And in JavaScript, we have a function called sort, a method, an array method. And we can apply to the array that we have here. So array sort. But the function itself doesn't do the work. We need to pass some logic to rearrange the elements of the array. So here, I will pass an anonymous function, okay, with two arguments. That will be the numbers we are trying to sort. The function will pass the first numbers and so on. So 900, 3, 56, and so on. And we can apply some logic and algorithm to sort this array. To sort in ascending order, we can do a minus B. And this will return the array in the ascending order. Let's see. Console log array ascending. Okay. I will open the HTML file in the browser with the live server extension. And here you can see our brand new array sorted by ascending order. This math operation do the work, okay? And how we can do the descending order? It's easy. We will use the same algorithm here, okay? The same code, but calling uh, b minus a, okay? Let's do it. Const array descending array sort. We apply another anonymous function a and b as arguments. And here we return what? B minus A. And this will create our new array with descending order. Okay. So now we can log this again. Descending. And we can see in the browser the sorted array here. So this is the easiest way to sort an array in the ascending order and in the descending order. And just so you know, we can change the algorithm to sort your array by another operation, giving different results based on what you do in the anonymous function here. Okay? So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel to receive more content about web development. See you in the next video.